my biggest conflicts was was money. Yeah, because I'm moving to from a corporate cushy corporate job to a job as a baker and managing with a little bit of money after so many years of just living it up and doing whatever I wanted to is not easy. I've always enjoyed baking. My earliest memory is actually my grandmother when uh, we used to live in a joint family and I used to watch her make Christmas cakes on the dining table. Uh, I just mentioned it once to my mom and dad and I said I think this is what I want to do and they jumped at it because um, they know how much you know I do at home and they know how much I read up and how passionate I am about it so they were fine about it. With everybody else it's like how old are you? And I say I'm 30 and I say isn't it a little too late to be starting off in this field and that kind of gave me a lot of insecurities because I am late you know everyone who's 30 in this field is a senior, a senior chef or a sous chef right now and I'm starting off at the bottom. I did my uh, postgrad in conservation biology uh, from Victoria U University of Wellington. And then I lived in New Zealand for about four years and returned to Bangalore, couldn't get a job. I started working at DigiCaptions. I started as an English editor and eventually got into training. And then three years just flew by. I googled uh, diploma courses in Bangalore in baking because I wanted to get certified and uh, Lavon Hospitality in Bangalore popped up. So I joined there, I did my diploma for six months and I work in the academy. So I teach during the day and then I do production in the afternoon. Apart from working at the bakery, I do some baking at home for personal orders that come in. So, so far it's just been for friends and family, but I enjoy it very much. As stressful as the environment is around me, I'm extremely relaxed. I feel very much at home and um, as noisy as everything is around me, I'm able to focus. I can block out everything, get my work done. And then when you finish something and you give it to someone to taste and then to sit and watch them eat it after that is the most phenomenal joy. I've always been a bit different, always been unconventional. And um, so, you know, the earrings and the tattoos and the bike, you know. It's not that I'm um, trying very hard to be different. It just sort of turns out that way. My mentor, who is Chef Evan, um, him and I are writing a book on the science of baking. Um, we're both very theoretically inclined. Uh, and with baking, a lot of it is theory um, and a lot of it is science. My dream is to eventually open my own bakery. Um, not a bakery, I would say a French patisserie. That's where I'm heading towards. So the first item on my list is to travel. So hopefully I'll go to Europe next year. I want to go to France and, and Spain and Italy and do some serious eating. <laughs> and then um, look for investors and plan my bakery and I plan to start.